Hey, this is Seth. I didn't realize that my microphone was borked when I recorded this, and I really don't want to have to do a lip-synced voiceover on this since I have an avatar in the bottom corner using VC face. So I'm sorry, just uh, forgive me for having the poor, poor microphone audio. Hopefully the tutorial helps you nonetheless. Hello, I'm Seth and I'm here to do a quick tutorial on setting up a VR chat submenu. Someone asked in the comments and I figured this was a quick one, so why not go ahead and do it? Anyway, I'm once again using Shade the Bat's VR chat avatar for this test. I really love how they have their menu set up and it's a great way to look back and forth to make sure you're, you're doing it correctly. And on another note, I myself have been using the Inventory Inventor plugin to manage a lot of my items and toggles, but that's a tutorial for another time. Without further ado, here we go. I've already got a fresh Unity project with the VR Avatar SDK 3.0, Dynamic Bones, as well as a freshly baked daughter. The easiest thing to do at this point is to select the root of the avatar that you're using. Provided your VR chat descriptor is all set up, we should be able to just scroll down and find the menu that you're currently using. So like just down here. If you don't see this menu or your VR chat avatar descriptor looks way different, there's a highly likelihood that your avatar is an SDK 2.0 avatar and you'd need to convert it over. Anyway, scroll down and click on this menu and it should take you to where your uh, where where this is in your project folder. I, I love how this one is set up already, so let's click on this menu asset file. Here we can see this one already has submenus set up. So it's, it, this is why I think this one's a, a great one to look at. But well, I, I think it makes sense. Let's go ahead and create another one here. So I'm going to click on add control and we have this new control set up. You can kind of name it whatever you want, and you'll set this as a submenu here. Don't need to set a parameter, but right now we don't actually have a submenu set up. So that's what we need to do next. So we're going to create a submenu set file. In this case, we have a folder set up for that already. You can create a folder if you like, um, just by going create, right click in here, go create and then folder. And you can create a subfolder. You don't have to. That's completely optional. So in, in here, I'm going to go into this submenu and I'm going to go ahead and create another. And you can click on these and see how they work. So uh, I like the the dance menu here. You know, this is a menu so that you can have all of your dances consolidated in one place. Like I said, Shade did a great, great job setting these up. And we're going to we're going to follow this this same direction. So. I'm going to right click in here, go to create, then go to VR chat, avatars, and an expressions menu. So here it creates the asset file for us and we can name it whatever we want. So I think in this case, I don't really have anything new to set up. If you followed my spring joint ball tutorial, the boy ball tutorial, you can absolutely create a sub menu for those. That's actually what I ended up doing on one of my, my main avatars that I use. So we're just going to follow the same convention. You don't have to, you can name it whatever you want. It doesn't matter, but I'm going to call this sub hot because I want to move the hot dance animations from here, the, from this sub menu, because they're, they're too hot for daily use. So we're going to go in here and then add a control. Cool. We have, we have a new control. We can do something with that. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and create another inspector. So I'm going to click on this little hamburger menu, add tab and add another inspector. This will just make things a little easier. I'm going to lock this one on submenu hot and then I'm going to click on submenu dance and lock this one here as well. You can move them around so that you can see them side by side. And we're going to let's move. Let's move hot one. Uh, one, set an icon if you want. I, I want to use this, this same symbol heart. We're going to call this one a toggle. This is easy just because I, you can, you can literally just look and make them exactly the same. Cool. So hot one is done. And technically, if you want, you don't have to, but you can delete it from in here. 
Now let's let's add hot two. And of course, do this with whatever it is that you what you want. There's all sorts of things you can do. The sky's the limit. So setting these up as toggles, BRC emote in this particular case. So there we go. That would be hot two set up. We'll remove it from this sub menu. And then just to just to complete it, we'll go ahead and add hot three. Just to drive the point home, I guess. Cool. So now you have this sub menu. I'm going to go ahead and close this particular tab. Don't need it anymore. And then I'm going to unlock this just so I can go look at some other things. So yeah, we have our sub menu hot here. But it's not actually being used yet because we haven't tied it to the main menu. So we're going to do that next by going back here to where your main menu was. So we have our emotes, we have our, our dances, we have, you know, various things. But let's go back to this new control and I'm going to call this one Hot Dances. I'll probably just use the same, the same sprite here because I'm original. Okay, we're a sub menu and then now we're going to choose our sub menus from this list and that's that hot sub menu. Cool. And that's it. That's really all you have to do to create a sub menu. You should be able to build and deploy and send this to VR chat. I'll go ahead and do that real quick, but that's it. You should be good to go. All right, we'll go ahead and build and deploy this. As normal, this is a new avatar, so auto fix everything. We'll, we'll build and publish. Get some hold music going. I'll probably skip over this part or just, you know, fast forward. It's like watching paint dry sometimes. Hooray! All right, let's give this a test. All right, and we're back. So now we need to see if that avatar that we just set up has the right submenus. So we'll go in here and go submenu test avatar. All right, you know, here we go. We're an otter now. We got to test this thing out. So we'll go to a, we'll go to our menu. All right, let's see. Okay, here you can see menu. Now we have expressions and oh, hey, look, we've got a new sub menu here called hot dances. And let's see. Oh, hey, look at that. It works first try. I'm sometimes surprised myself. And of course, because we moved the, the other dances out of this one, this particular menu is a little, a little lower. So, uh, well, <laughs> yeah, it, it works. Now you see why I had to move these particular ones out to another one. So hopefully, hopefully this tutorial helps someone. And with that, have a good one.